on me in the morning. I drove everything with me. And we are going to the train. So you could view this as a vlog or something like this, chilling here at the train station, hopping onto an ICE, just to realize that I'm on the way to a couple of plebs that are interested in a bit eggs workshop here in Germany. I'm glad I'm there. So everything started with a package that I received from Decentral and I'm so glad that they are actually providing those kits to me. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this is not for the profit, this is for the plebs, this is for the people that are actually interested in learning new things, that are actually interested in doing something for it, doing their own kind of proof of work. That's it, what this is about, and I'm gonna tell you. So as you might have guessed, it took me a couple of things, as you can see, my luggage is quite full, and it took me five and a half hours driving by train to actually go over there. But after all, I arrived there and everything was fine. I needed to do a little bit of preparation. And as you can see, we had this kind of small package here. It's a 3D printed case from Decentral with all those tiny ICs in it that you do need to actually solder on your BitX device. So we had these packages for all the people and then we actually started with soldering. I was teaching the guys to go from the biggest to the smallest component, from with the least legs to the most legs and so on. And I helped them here and there whenever I could to actually figure out what might be causing issues. And after a while we had the first couple of people that are actually made it so far that we can actually flash the firmware onto the ESP and test the device if everything is functional. I'm not talking about the ASIC, this one was the most and intense part probably, as well as fixing minor soldering bridges, as well as other tasks that involved using a microscope and other things. So yeah, it definitely was a hurdle. It definitely was a lot of fun being there, actually teaching people how to solder their own SMD solder, their own bit eggs. It was so fun. I'm so glad that I did it and I will definitely do this again. And as you might know, in a couple of weeks is the next workshop. And then in a couple of weeks is the next workshop. So yeah, I'm doing it. I'm teaching the guys, I'm teaching everybody and I'm trying to do the best.